Hi, Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Hey, I thought we'd talk a little bit about um, maintaining a practice when life gets uh, complicated. You know, I've talked to so many people over the years and so many students uh, have come to me and said, oh, I used to do Tai Chi, I used to do yoga, I used to do, uh, I used to work out, I used to go to the gym, I used to do running, or I used to do some activity or other, and then I got married and had kids, or then I got this new job, or my life got too busy, or my life got too something. And then uh, they come to me in their 40s, maybe their 50s, maybe even their 60s, and they have real balance issues, and they're overweight, and um, they're just stiff, and they don't feel like very agile, and, and they want to... Um, do Tai Chi as a gentle way to open that up and to feel more, um, you know, more balanced and more agile and more ready to, to deal with life. Um, and I just want to encourage you uh, folks who are in your, say, 20s and 30s who are doing Tai Chi, doing martial arts, doing yoga, doing CrossFit, doing running, doing something that keeps you trim and, 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 and uh, agile and strong and happy. Um, if you do get married, or if you do decide to have kids, or buy a house, or engage in a career that uh, is kind of busy and demanding, to um, consider just developing a maintenance practice where you touch base with the training once or twice a week. You don't necessarily have to train at a high level. Sometimes there's this feeling that if I can't train at this high level that I've trained at all this time, forget about it. Or I'll get back to that level later, but for now I'm just going to focus on the kids. Or for now I'm going to focus on, um, um, on the, um, the complication, the life, the career, the whatever. And, you know, I think if you just put a little bit of energy into that, just a little bit, so that you have just a foot in the door, so that you just remember the basic moves, you just remember the basic postures, keep some of that attitude or some of those principles going, Later on, when the storm dies down and things get a little easier and things get a little more comfortable, that um, you'll be in a better position to pick it up again and to step up your practice to that level again. Because I, I really, I just have so many people tell me, I used to, I used to, I used to, and then the kids came, and then the blank came, and then the blank came, and now, now I'm you know, really stiff and really out of shape. So I think what you do in your 20s and your 30s um, and uh, into your 40s can be so beneficial for that later segment of your life. So uh, just a little encouragement if you're young and you're doing something like that, once you've uh, got the girl, or once you've got the guy, or once you've got the house, or you're going to start reproducing, to just keep that foot in the door, keep a little level of training going once or twice a week, two, three times a week, 20 minutes, just keep the Keep the keep your connection to that way of moving and being that you that you like and that you train in, so that later on when the storm subsides, you'll be able to come back to it and uh, and pick up where you left off. Thanks for watching.